Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it's me, Mark Mustani. I'm looking at the Group 1 Judd Monty International Stakes, run over 10 furlongs at York. Well, Aidan O'Brien's got a strongly fancy favourite in this race, Await the Dawn. They won the Hardwick Stakes at Tasca over a mile and a half. Well, I got the impression that day, didn't really cry out for me for an also wants to drop back in trim, and at odds on, I'm quite prepared to give it a swerve. Aidan O'Brien takes a ride, very interesting jockey book him. We'll say Aidan put him on some decent, put him on some Nicholas Abbey in the King George in that. Um, so he's you know, got confidence in his boy, fair play to him, but at odds on, I'm out. Midday, very, very good filly, but she's run twice against the Colts and got beaten by him. For that reason, I'm out. The one I like each way, caught the odds with six runners. It's only five, really, when you consider that Windsor Palace is out there to make the pace for uh, Await the Dawn. It's twice over. Just touched off in this, la in this race last year by um, uh, Rip Van Winkle. Showed disliking for course and distance when it won a group two the other day. He also finished third that fourth that day. Class is class has come out and bolted up in a group three. He's around a six to one mark. He looks the each way for me, ladies and gentlemen. Caught the odds of place. I'm glad Ian Mongan's on instead of Tom Queeley. I'd have Mongan over Queeley every day of the week. Each way, caught the odds one, two, twice over.